Hi, my name is Maha and I'm a Customer Solutions Specialist at Housing Anywhere. Today I'm going to be showing you our inbox, how to access it, and its functionality. So let's get started. So we're on the Housing Anywhere homepage at the moment and we want to go into the inbox. To do this, you have two ways. The first is to click here on your name. You can see the inbox option here. You can also click on the speech bubble. This will take you directly to the inbox. So I'm going to click on that. You can see here we have the general inbox with your most recent uh, inquiries. And here are the folders that we're now going to be discussing in detail. So first of all, you can see that I have some messages here. I'm going to scroll down to this message that I received from Simon. You can see that he doesn't have a picture and he sent a very short message. So I'm not that interested in having him as a tenant. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to archive him by clicking on the thumbs down button. And so if you go up, you can go into the archive folder and you can see that I have already some people who have archived that I wasn't interested in. This removes them from your inbox so you don't have to see them unless you really want to. And then I also have an inquiry from Elena, so let's click on her. We can see that she's a verified student, which is really great. She has a picture and she sent me quite a nice message as well about my room. So I'm very interested in having her as a tenant. I can go back into my inbox and click the thumbs up and move her into my shortlist. So you can see here, Elena will have moved into the shortlist section. Then we have still in the inbox, sorry, here we go, some conversations that are orange. These are pending. So if you click on the pending folder, you'll see that your invitations to book as well as booking requests all go into this folder. Then you have the booking folder. This is for completed bookings, which as you can see, we have none at the moment. But once one of the pending um, conversations makes a booking, this will also move in to the booking folder. We also have an expired section for our messages. These are conversations where there hasn't been any activity for one week. They'll go in here. Keep an eye on your expi expired folder because it could be that some tenants you might want to invite again later. You also have the all section here. This is for all the conversations that you have. Um, and you can easily search for someone via this as well. So for example, I want to look for Bjorn. You can see I just put in the first part of his name and he comes up. I'm going to click on him. And I can see that he also sent a message and he wants to book the room from January. But I'd like to ask him for some documents. So I'm just going to say, hi, could you upload proof of student enrollment and send him that message. You can see that I also have an option to upload a file here. So once Bjorn replies to me and I can see that he's a student, I can upload a sample contract for him to see as well. And that's just by clicking on this file and choosing uh, one of the options. Let's now go back into our inbox here and look at Morris, for example, who has also sent me an inquiry. I've read it earlier. So he's also interested in the room, but let's say I no longer want to rent to him or I have another room that might suit him. So what I can do is just say, hi, Morris. This place is not available, but I have this option for you. And I can just paste him the link for another property that I have. And so you can see that when I send this message, he'll be able to click on it and send me a booking request via that option. So that was our overview of the inbox, as you can see. Um, it's a great way to organize uh, your requests and also to keep an eye on the people that you're more interested in and also to look for opportunities in your expired folder should you be looking for tenants later on. So as you saw, it's very easy to use the inbox on our platform. If you do have any questions, you can check out the how-to guides. The link is in the description below. You can also leave a comment. We'll make sure to respond to that. You can also contact our support team. Once again, my name is Maha and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.